Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph and today I'm going to be back to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1 Episode 22, The Origin of Blind Obedience. So last episode, again, nothing really happened. The villains like, you know, Mahito and Gito, they're just like continuing their evil plan on trying to get Tsukuna and all that stuff. We kind of saw the aftermath of the whole exchange thing. Megami recovered and they basically just played this baseball game. So last episode was pretty much a filler. I'm not going to lie with you guys, I'm kind of bored with Jujutsu right now. I don't know if it's obvious. Like, I just feel like they're dragging these, like, plot out a little too long to the point where nothing really significant is happening in each episode but my friend who's a big jujitsu fan she said just power through season one because she also agrees with me season one's not the greatest power through season one watch the movie and then go into season two and season two is where everything is at. Season two I will enjoy. So I'm just gonna buckle down, finish the season, watch the movie because I have no idea what the movie's about but it's a prequel to season two I think. She said watch that one before season two. So I'm gonna follow her advice and do it and then season two she said I'll love. So I am praying that season two is a lot better than season one because to be honest I feel like right now it's kind of like the reverse of Tokyo Ghoul. The first season was amazing, the second season sucked. The first season sucks here, the second season is supposedly amazing. So uh, I guess for the next three episodes I'll just power through it, see what they're about, see what's gonna happen with like this you know plan that the everyone else has. If Mahito and Gido are gonna successfully get Sukuna or something like that, what's gonna happen to him, if anyone's gonna eat fingers or something like that. I really don't know where they're going with it but uh, for now let's see how they wrap up this season. If you guys are enjoying my Jujutsu Kaisen series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early make sure to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description. Without further ado, it's gonna be Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1, Episode 22, The Origin of Blind Obedience. Let's go! Hey everyone, just want to give a special thanks and a shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Over on my Patreon, you'll gain early access to all of my uncut reactions on top of other perks. Check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. Taichi, Kanada, and Morioka in June. Osamu, Shimada, and Yokohama in August. Hiroshi, Yamato, and Nagoya in September. Are these deaths? All three died in similar yeah. circumstances. They were stabbed to death by a cursed spirit at the entrances to their apartments. Ooh. And all three of them, just days prior to their murders, had filed the same complaint with their property managers. Apparently, the cursed spirit made the door operating mechanism go crazy, not the sensors. She looks like the Attack on Titan character. That all three must have received the same curse, and it didn't activate until years later. Hmm. Precisely. That's highly likely. So that's why we're on our way to their middle school now. We'll be picking up a fourth man who also went there and knew all of the victims. Okay. I wonder what the curse is, like, exactly, and what the relationship is. Like, why them specifically? Well, this sucks. Turns out he died the same way the other three did. Shit. Yeah, why is it these people specifically? I asked his parents about the other three victims, but they said they didn't know what relationship he might have had with them. Man, there goes our only lead. Hey, check out these two punks. How about we kick their asses? What for? Yeah, like they're not in earshot. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Well, look at that. What? You're getting some respect. Oh. An aura just pours out, even if you try your best to hide it. We haven't seen you since graduation, Fushiguro. Oh, it's... Huh? Uh... I, uh... Did he go answer. here? school here well that's a surprise but that's not the point explain yourself what did you do what happened when you were at this school got beat up by fushiguro huh? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even look at them ah the investigators how very young you all are please keep your past visible for your entire stay here oh he recognizes him fushiguro? yep oof hello he remembers you. That's not, not good. This man's been here for a long time, then. Isn't uh, Megami like 15 years old? So it was only like two years ago. I don't know how school works in Japan, but if it's similar to the U.S. system. But it must be nearly 20 years now since those boys graduated. Damn. Still, I remember it like it was yesterday. Been in school for 20 they years. They were all problem children too, though not as bad Two. as you. Ooh. What do you want to know? Curious rumors. Or dark rumors, or connections with bad adults. Hey, problem child! Also, anything of ill child. omen, of course. Jeez. Dark rumors? 
They could be difficult, but it was just your average middle school stuff. The Yasuhachi Bridge? That one? You're still here, A and B? <laughs> What's the Yasuhachi a. Bridge? It's a suicide site. Considered Ooh. haunted by some of the locals. One day, Kanada and the other three all were absent without permission. By itself, that wasn't strange. Then, when we contacted all of their families, we learned that none of the four boys had come home from school the day before. Hmm. So they picked something up there. But all four of them swore up and down that they didn't remember a thing. Yeah, something happened to them out on that bridge, so go to the bridge. As a matter of fact, I've been to that bridge. There wasn't anything strange at the time, even though it became a little famous. It's still in use as a normal bridge. We still have to go and check it out, though. When you were in school here, Sumiki always took care of you. Is she doing okay these who? days? Oh, is it the girl yes. that he always pictures? Wait, who is Sumiki? My sister. What? Oh, so... How come you never tell us anything about yourself? So that girl is his sister. Okay. I was always wondering, like, who that girl is that he keeps, uh, picturing. Whoa, who does he have? Listen. Cash. Cash. Right? That's what you want, isn't it? I can get it. All you want. So will this one work okay? Oh, he's gonna... He still can't see me even at this juncture. He's gonna force him to eat it. level is low. Open up and see. Oh, oh, that's so gross. Oh, God. Did he really have to strip him down? I feel like that was a little uh, unnecessary, bro. But okay, so that girl that he always pictures and like always flashbacks to, that's his sister. So I'm assuming she's dead. And why am I not surprised that Megami is the problem child? Or not the problem child, but the kid that like, you know, started shit and was very misbehaved in school. And from personal experience, if you misbehave a lot, the people will remember you. Like fast forward years later, they're not gonna bring up any of that stuff, but they definitely will remember you and be like, oh yeah, hi, how you doing? Like acting like, you know, you didn't give them like a hell of a time when you were with them. Because in my elementary school days, I literally got in trouble for something different every single day. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And every single one of my teachers hated me. With good reason, but at the same time, they were so fucking controlling that to the point where it's like, you know, if you keep someone on a really short leash, they're going to fight you. Loosen the reins a little bit and then give them a little bit more freedom and then, you know, they'll have mutual respect for you. I had no respect for my teachers. There's a few off the top of my head that I really fucking hated. But once I got into middle school, that kind of slowed down. It was really more like elementary school where I was really like the problem child. But yeah, from personal experience, they remember you. A few years ago, I ran into one of my elementary school teachers and she still remembers me. But okay, so Mahito and Guido are doing some suspicious shit. It looks like he just shoved a curse down this poor guy's throat and I'm assuming he's going to be dead but the curse is going to overtake his body or some shit or manipulate it or something like that. And then I feel like they're going to run into that on the bridge. So I'm very curious to know like what exactly is at the bridge to make it so haunted. I wonder if one of the fingers are there. It's just like hidden or something. So that's why, you know, it's like a cursed spot kind of thing. But uh, for now, let's see what Mahito's plan is with that guy and let's see what's going on at this bridge we're here koino kuchi canyon yasuhachi bridge that's a tall Once bridge you a cursed spirit is here a lower veil you got it oh that's hey. so weird oh what Sorry did he to ask you this when you just woke up yeah what do you turn into oh. could you go run a little errand for me yeah god poor guy mm -hmm. We didn't sense any presences, or any residuals either. Fushiguro! What Who's happened? This guy? He's that guy you were making fun of. Fujinuma? Mm. Oh, a classmate. classmate, yeah. My big sister. Oh, okay. It's nice that you still remember me, Fushiguro. You see, I... I went there too. Ooh. In eighth grade, I went to the bridge late one night. Okay, so she's next, in other words? See, my family runs a shop here in town. And lately, I've been finding the shop's automatic door wide open when I come home, but it only happens to me. When did the issue with your automatic door start? It's happened about every other day for exactly one week now. So there's at least two weeks between the time when the four victims first noticed something wrong and the day they died. Okay, so she has one week left. <laughs> Do you remember who you went with? It was a test of courage. For three of us in the same club. And in fact, Fushiguro, your sister Tsumiki was there with us that night. Tsumiki? 
Not his sister. So his sister's sister is sister little is his sister alive? So his sister's alive. I thought she was dead. Okay. You're gonna go find her and talk to her now. Oh jeez. girl, you gotta snap out of it. You gotta make sure that she's safe. How far away is she? I'm all right. Hang on, I just need a moment. Hmm. <laughs> Calling her? Yes, I understand. You need guard for Sumiki, right? I'll try. But oh. as far as sorcerers, second grades are all that's available. The mission was already dangerous for all three of us. I can't leave it to just the two of them. Take them all. Return next week. I could wait and ask him then. No, I can't. No, fuck it, go. The time limit's the big problem. This isn't the type of cursed spirit that attacks someone. It's the type that activates a cursed technique from within a marked person. Other sorcerers will be taking over the case. You two can go home now. What about you? Jeez, he's pushing him <laughs> after I say goodbye to Takeda. Now just go. He's just forcing him in the car. Jesus. Fujinuma hm. didn't go over the side of Yasuhachi Bridge. They held their test of courage underneath the bridge. Okay. So he's going to go looking for it. I feel like he's going to find a finger. You really don't tell us enough about yourself. Sure don't. <laughs> If you didn't notice us until now, you're seriously lost in space. Right. We're not saying you have to tell us everything, but come on. At least let us help. We're friends, aren't we? Let him help. I mean, you got Sukuna's vessel with you, so I mean, that's something going for you. The curse of the Yasuhachi Bridge only appears to its victims. Since she can't communicate herself, I have no idea when she'll be killed by the curse. Hmm. So I want to exercise it right away. So she's alive, she's just bedridden. That's why we haven't seen her or any of that stuff. At the bottom of the canyon, there might be a river. Oh jeez. Oh. Where the hell is he hiding that sword? So they gotta get through all of this to get to the curse. Isn't that the thing that Mahito let go? Yeah. Oh god. What's this? Someone beat me here. Huh? Bushiguro, this one's different, huh? Yeah. It's Mahito's then why doing. Why don't you two focus on that first one? I'll exercise this one. All right. Is that so? You're going to play with me now, that's what you? that's what Mahito wants though. Alright, and that was episode 22 of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. So, okay, we're shifting into a brand new mini plot. We only have two episodes left of this season, so I feel like it's gonna leave off on a cliffhanger, unless they wrap up things pretty fast. But we're getting introduced to this bridge thing, so they have to exercise whatever curse is at this bridge to save his sister and the other people that are affected too, that are alive right now. But Mahito's plan is like, you know, interfering with that because he now released a new curse or like whatever the guy turned into. And Yuji's gonna take him on while the other two face off against the original bridge curse. But that's what Mahito wants though. Because their goal, if I understand correctly, is to get to Yuji so he can get to Sukuna. But yeah, so far what I've seen is that they just keep like adding these mini plots. I think we've had what, four Four mini plots out of this entire season. We had the first one with Yuji's death and all that stuff. Then we had the second plot with Nanami and Yuji. Then we had the exchange thing and now we're getting like a Megami plot. So, so far this season is like all over the place. But we got two episodes left so I'm assuming the last two episodes are going to be about this bridge thing. It might carry over to the second season but I think we're going to finish things off in this one. And then we're going to start fresh in season two. But for now let's see if Yuji can hold his own against this curse and let's see if Megami can exercise the bridge curse. If you guys are enjoying my Jujutsu Kaisen series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early make sure to check out my patreon link will be in the description also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future reactions and as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time